So today we're going to turn off confirm edit on release. And if you're a new player and for some reason you don't know what confirm edit on release is, basically what confirm on release means is say you select the edit like this, right? And if you're to confirm the edit, all you have to do is release your mouse click and it'll confirm it. Same thing for controller, you just release your controller trigger and it'll confirm it. Hence why it's called confirm on release. You release your mouse click or trigger and it'll confirm. It just makes like editing really fast and easy. I think like 90% of people play on confirm on release. And that's also why a lot of people edit really fast nowadays. Now I'm gonna be honest, there's probably at least one person that's watching this video that had no clue what confirm on release was. And he's probably like, whoa, is that how you guys edit so fast? Why didn't no one tell me? If you're that one guy, please comment. I'm genuinely curious how many people didn't know. But anyways, today we're just gonna turn off confirm on release. Basically what that means now is I have to press my F button to confirm it rather than releasing it. So I basically press my F button to edit and another time to confirm. It essentially just adds another button after press. And you may be wondering, doesn't that just make editing harder since you have to press another button? Well, yeah, it does. But the reason why I want to try turning it off is because a lot of pros like Twitch, Cold, Poyo, and pretty much every EU pro has it off. And people say having it off is better because you can get better peats and crosshair placement. With confirm on release off, you'll get better peats. For example, you can just move to the side like this before you edit and then confirm it right when you have your crosshair on the guy. But with it on, you most likely will just edit like this and then try to pump them. And your crosshair will be like right here when you like release that edit when it confirms. Whereas on confirm on release off, your crosshair will be on the guy. The better crosshair placement. And if you move to the side with confirm on release on, you'll like mess up like this. See? You messed up. If you try to get your crosshair on the enemy, you'll again, you can't do it because you won't release it. It doesn't work. And that's essentially why a lot of the pros play on no edit on release. So let's turn it off and see if my peats and everything are better. And I'm already kind of used to it off. And the reason why I'm kind of used to it off is because I made the same exact video a year ago. And I kept it off for three months. So I was perfectly used to it back then. But then this little kid in PGs called me a slow old man. And then I turned it back on to be fast again. Screw you, Jacob. I probably would be a pro by now if you didn't call me old. But since then, I guess I've always been double clicking my F button every time I edit, even with it on. So that's why I'm like used to it. I do mess up a lot though in triple editing. Triple editing is hard. Like... Doing a quad edit is hard. Triple edits are hard. It's just hard because you have to press so many buttons. For triple edit, I have to press my F button six times. For quad edit, I have to press it eight times. That's why I feel like confirm on release off makes you feel slower. Like, look, this is confirm on release off. And this is on. Like you see how much faster confirm on release is? Basically with confirm on release on, you'll be faster with worse peats and crosshair placement. And with it off, you'll be slower, but with better crosshair placement and better peats. Well, at least that's what I think from my experience. Well, anyways, let's try these better peats on win a solo rank game. I don't think I've won a solo rank game in like a month. Because every time I play, I just died to something really dumb and just rage quit. It better not happen this game. A few moments later. Alright, I'm winning this game 100%. Like, I just could not win a game. And since I had it off, I would just mess up a lot of edits and just die. Holy crap, I suck. I died so many games like that where I would just mess up edits. And I couldn't get a win for hours. One of the games I was really close to getting a win...
But then I fought this Twitch streamer and this is what happened. Bro, he was actually really nice, and that was a good fight. I'm not gonna lie. And he ended up winning that game, so GG's, bro. You're crazy. Y'all should low key follow him, he's actually a demon. But, anyways, the next game I finally won with confirm our release off. Mr. Lust on Twitch TV. Yo, why is he jumping like a butt? Let's go. All right, we're chilling. With all the medallions, everything. This is the game to win. 100. 200. Oh my. Nice. The two people are using the road. And then there's the Frozone guy. Look at him. Frozone. 50. The build! Crank! 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 I knocked one. I knocked one. I'm getting focused. I'm, I'm, I'm high! I'm high! I'm, I'm, high, high, high. I'm high! I'm high! Bro! Let me just build the Eiffel Tower. Right, I'm doing this. Nice. 1v1. It's me versus Frozone. Frozone. No. I cannot die to Frozone. If I die to Frozone, I'm putting Fortnite. Oh, hell no. Come on, Frozone. 30. Frozone's control there. 100. Oh. Those and dragged himself. We're good. 
Go on, go on, chop him out. Go in a circle. Nice. No. No. Come on. Let's go! It took me like four hours. Oh my god. Let's freaking go.